They, they might be rude, like they might be rude if you maybe come for them or do anything, but the good hearts, they mm -hmm. are not angry that one. But they are bad hearts. They are, they are yeah. rudeness, they overpower the good hearts, my guy. So there's this longest conversation that the radicals had by the garden area. And guys, that conversation was long. I'm talking about 20 minutes, 30 minutes longest conversation. And I have to comment before I start this video. I have to comment whomever is in charge of camera work today. I don't know if it's guy or <clears throat> But whomever is in charge of that camera work, I have to say massive respect to that person. Because Big Brother is fond of whenever there's a conversation going on, Big Brother pans the camera, shifts the camera from them, that we don't get the details of the whole conversation. But for today, whomever is in charge <coughs> was interested in that conversation as much as I am. Because, guys, I paid attention. And during the course of that conversation, they talked about how shocked they were to be in the bottom floor and on the verge of going home. They also talked about the ships in the house and uh, how the housemates are forming alliances and how they need to form their own alliances. Last but not the least, they talked about one ex handy and how they are rude and how they are rude is spoiling their game in the house. And in today's video, I'm gonna I'm going to be tabling everything that they said talk about it and share my own opinion guys i welcome you to today's video my name is shooks and this is powerhouse of positivity so like i said earlier in my intro this conversation was quite long and one of the conversations where they had was where they talked about their shock of being in the bottom for that they didn't expect something like that to happen that they thought that the content that they are putting out that the energy they are putting out that people are going to relate with them that people are going to enjoy them but seeing that they made it to the bottom four, that they want to change something, but they don't know what to change because at the end of the day, they don't know what people like about them. But what is giving them hope, what is giving them confidence is that in a show like Big Brother, that making it in the bottom four in the first week doesn't solidify you as the bottom four. That there are some of the previous winners in the show that have stood up, that have been up for possible eviction and stood up on Sunday as the bottom four and, and ended up winning the show. That's why uh, Mickey said that that is the only thing that he's putting his hope on. He said that maybe from this week that the vote will swing in their favor because at the end of the day, everybody in Big Brother House must face nomination. Is going to stand up at one point in time. And guys, I have to say, it is true. We've had people that stood up and ended up winning the show. We've had people that didn't stand up at all. Name in question, Cross. During the whole season, Cross was in Big Brother House. I haven't seen Cross being named as housemate with the bottom. Cross hasn't even faced the fear of nomination, the pressure of nomination. Even if he did, it was it, it didn't count. It it didn't number up to five times that Cross was up during his time. The first time we saw him and the All Star season, Cross didn't stand up. And at the end of the day, he was at the top three years, but he didn't win. And we saw people like Messi. Some people like Kosi, who is always standing every every Sunday, they will stand up, every Sunday they will stand up. And they went on to win the whole show. So I understand where they, what they are saying, that they are confident in themselves and they are confident in the type of content that they put out. So the next thing they talked about is the shifts that are forming and uh, how they need to get in their own uh, alliances, but not sheep. Actually, they talked about their likeness to Victoria and... Uh, Femi David was like, yes, but with me and Victoria, we are not categorizing anything. We are not giving it any name or saying, okay, we are in a jeep or not. I'm just letting things flow. Because in this house, you can't go just come into this house and start a ship. You don't know what will happen outside the show. You don't know what will happen when you guys leave Big Brother Niger house. Because uh, in here, it's in a confined space. You don't want to force things to happen. If they are not there, it won't happen. So what they plan on doing is to keep going with the flow if it happens it happens if it doesn't happen it doesn't happen so in the course of that conversation mickey also said yes that that is the same way he feels with handy of the handy x one dp but the thing is that it seems like one d is super interested in ah, in him sorry it seems like one d is super interested in him and i'm looking at mickey talking all that rubbish and i'm like are you sure mickey because what I'm saying in that house, it doesn't seem like one day is interested in you. But at the end of the day, he's entitled to his, to his own opinion. As well as I'm entitled to my own opinion. As well as you watching this show, 
you are entitled to your opinion so drop your comment down below what are your opinion about what mickey said about handy x hand, uh, about the uh, handy of the one the x handy being interested in him do you think it is true or do you think that he is daydreaming also share your thought about the show in particular everything that has been going on in the big brother niger house share your thought comment down below and give this video a massive like guys if this is your first time coming across my channel you are seeing my face for the first time i analyze big brother so drop me a follow and uh, i'll appreciate that make sure you watch this video to the end because guys i'm still getting to the main gist of today's video the main coco where uh, the radicals called when x and d rude they said it they are very rude but i uh, will talk about it later so femi david was like don't put pressure on yourself because you see other people forming ships do don't do that all you have to do is yes you guys talk but don't be because oh and you start pressuring yourself into being a ship no just talk go with the flow if you like her you like her if you don't like her you don't like her because at the end of the day everybody is going to leave the big brother niger house and nobody knows what is awaiting them outside of the house so as they were talking about that they talked about uh, how rude the one ex handy pair is and in Mickey's, in Mikey's uh, word, he said that they are so rude that even as much as they are good people, they have good heart and they are caring, that the rudeness in them overpowers how good they are. And even as, uh, as though as they are being good to the housemate, as though they are being uh, caring, as though they are being all loving, but within them, they are so rude that the housemate that they are showing favor to the housemate that they are a uh, kind of forming an alliance to are running away from them because of their rudeness that they are doing it because they think this is what we the viewers are interested in they think this is what the viewers want to see but at the end of the day it is harming their reputation in the house because none of these housemates trust them anymore none of these housemates is going to give them genuine love that yes they might be laughing they might be talking having fun with all the housemates but it is not genuine because behind their back this housemate gossip about them and how rude they are and nobody wants to talk to them about it so Femi Davis was uh, told me you are closer to Handy why not call Handy one day talk to her tell her see okay this is what is going on this is what I've heard and, Femi, and Mikey was like no I will never do that I will never because if I tell it to her she will go and tell it to Wani, and then Wani will blow the whole thing out of proportion. My my job in this house is to just observe and do what I think will advance our game. But you see me telling Hadi that they are rude, that they should uh, mellow it down or reduce it or stop it, that he will never do that. And guys, I want to ask you this question again. Amongst the Wani ex Hadi pair, do you feel like this housemate cause when Ipoka was talking to the housemaid on Sunday, he said something about one partner carrying one partner. So, in the one ex handy pair, we saw how Damilola's apology didn't go far in the game because she has already stepped on people's toe and at the end of the day saw them evicted on Sunday. So, do you feel like Wani will be the reason if ever they will be evicted? Do you think Wani will be the reason why they will be evicted? Because from the conversation that the radicals are having, they talked about how Wani is always carrying the matter of everybody in the house. That Wani is super, they, they use the word rude, very rude. That was the word they used. That Wani is so rude. That Handy, on the other hand, is so calm and so gentle and so easygoing. But for Wani, on the other hand, Wani takes things out of proportion. That Wani takes things out of proportion. It was during that conversation that. Femi David says something that caught me off guard. So while they were having that conversation, Mikey pointed out that sometimes he confuses the two sisters because they are so identical, he doesn't know who is who. And immediately he said that Femi was, uh, Femi was like, no, me, I know them. You know I'm a Nyash guy. I like Nyash well, well. So whenever I see the two of them, I'm always looking at their Nyash because uh, Wani is thicker. Wani has a big Nyash compared to Handy. And this nyash is not that thick. And I'm looking at Femi and I'm like, Femi, of all the features that these housemates have, of all the features that you can use to say, okay, this is Wani, this is Handy, you went for the nyash. And I've said this thing, guys. I've said it in my previous video that if Femi dies in that house, if anything happens to Femi, it will be because of nyash. Nyash is going to kill that guy. 
But uh, this is just me saying my thought about this whole thing. So this is what I have to say about this whole thing. When the ex and came in and said, yes, maybe they are playing that card of let's be like Tasha or let's be like CC. A lot of people have played that game and none of them has emerged the winner. Yes, Fina played it and was Raz and was doing street gear. She won. Yes, but to what detriment? That is all I'm always saying, to what detriment. We've seen winners who win the show by being, uh, by play, portraying a role that is not them. And at the end of the day, when they come out, there is pressure to keep on continuing like that. Because that is what people saw you for. See what is happening to White Money now. White Money came into Big Brother's show, portrayed himself as a chef, portrayed himself as someone who likes cooking. Immediately White Money won, White Money started singing. Disturbing our ears, and at the end of it, people are questioning white money. No, this is what you promise you are good at. Why are you not doing it? My guy had to, because of the pressure, start selling jello fries, which is nice from what I've heard from people. It was nice, but if white money has not uh, sang that song or hasn't gone into music and focused solely on cooking or opening his own eatery. At least people will be like, okay, we voted you and we see what you are doing. Take Ebuka for example. Ebuka, when he was in Big Brother, he didn't win. But he has said it that he wants to go into media. And immediately Ebuka came out of the house. See, Ebuka is now the number one host of Big Brother. So it shows that if you are going into the show and you want to portray a certain behavior, make sure that if you come out, let it be known that that is the behavior people are going to identify you with. It might not be who you are, but it's because you portrayed it inside the house. See what is happening to Tasha. Tasha might be a good person. Tasha might be the most loving person in this world. But because of the things she portrayed in the show, people are seeing her like Pechens or Zoko. People are seeing her like a bad person. People are seeing her like an enemy. But no, she might be a good person. So what I have to say to Wani X and D, you guys are now playing the role of being rude, having issues with almost all the housemates. If you see a housemate having issue with another housemate, if they are your friends, you buy their matter and you start beating on that housemate. It doesn't take you far. You might end up being the top two or ending up winning the game. But when you come out, you have to live in a sad reality. Why? Because if you try to change your way, people are not going to be interested in you anymore because that is not the reason why they like you. So, that is all I have to say. Let them portray who they are as people. If being rude is who they are, to hell with it. Let them keep on being rude. But if they are acting it out just to extend their stay in that house, it is going to hurt them at a long run. Guys, that is all I have to say. But uh, don't take my word for it. Drop me your comment down below in the comment section. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a blessed day.